Hello and Dobri Jen. Welcome to MedHead. This is the place where you come if you want to study medicine in Europe or in general. Uh, without further ado, we have Mr. Peter with us today. Mr. Peter is uh, expert in all these paperwork, student exchanges, uh, and also provides consultations to students for choosing university programs and so on. And we will be uh, we will be actually covering a very interesting country and university faculty today, which is uh, from Katowice, Poland. And uh, we are going to discuss details about uh, like the study program there, uh, the fee structure, accommodation, uh, living expenses, you know, all dimensions of your medical studies. Uh, first things first, Mr. Peter, what are the you know, uh, study programs that uh, the university and the faculties offer. Yeah. So we speak today about the Medical University of Silesia, which is located in Katowice, Poland. And they, they are like fully specialized just for the medical or paramedical programs. Okay. So they, uh, of course, like they provide it in Polish, but uh, everything uh, they also provide in English language as well. So apart from the general medicine and dentistry, uh, there are even different faculties for these uh, programs. Okay. They also provide like biotechnology, physiotherapy, midwife, midwifery, uh, what else? Nursing, pharmacy, uh, and all of this uh, you can study in English, uh, and some 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 programs even in twin takes. Okay, okay, that's actually interesting. And what do you mean by two intakes, like the spring intake and the fall intake? So basically, almost all universities in the EU, they have just one intake, which is September intake. The fall, yeah. So you usually apply by June, and then you get accepted July, and then in September you start your education. Okay. But in this case, like uh, there are three uh, universities in uh, in the EU where you can do also uh, spring intake, which means February intake. Okay. And this university is one of those. So okay. basically by end of November, approximately, you submit your application, or you can even just start the application and submit documents later and okay. do the entrance, uh, like the admission process. And then you will start the uh, education in February month. All right. So it's very interesting and uh, it's very useful because like many students uh, miss the deadline or are waiting for their high school results to make a decision. And generally they're like, okay, once we have the decision, then we will uh, like um, decide where we are going. So even if you like um, finish your high school, like in July, August or something, you still have time to make the application and go for the spring intake. So that's a very big addition. And in general, a uh, bit of background about the university. So the university is like uh, among like top 1,200 universities um, in the QS world ranking. Give us maybe a bit details about the fee structures of each of these programs. Mm -hmm. Peter. So the, each program, uh, the, the fees are uh, in, in the Polish Lotti, so the conversion rate can uh, be fluctuating. Okay. So it's uh, definitely for the Central Europe, it's very competitive, uh, right. especially if you compare it, uh, let's say, to Czech Republic, Charles University. Uh, so the general medicine uh, program, it costs approximately 12,700 euros. Mm -hmm. For dental medicine, approximately 13,500 euros. You can pay these fees in four installments, which okay. is also very unique. However, it needs to be also mentioned that uh, during the um, fifth, sixth year, you take the clinical rotations. Okay. And for that, you need to pay some extra amount. All right. Uh, so then it depends like whether you take the European or international uh, study program. Uh, mm -hmm. So based on that, like you do rotations either in Poland or outside of Poland. Okay, so then you, it's mandatory for you to take it. Yeah, it's mandatory. And then based on where you take it, you pay some extra amount uh, okay. to uh, like extra compared to the fees which you pay. All right. Uh, now let's get in the details about each of these programs. 
first things first. What about general medicine? How long is the duration? Uh, how many credits it is? If it's, uh, for example, like um, you know, like uh, details about the program and so on. Like. Okay, so it's uh, six years uh, for medicine and five years for dentistry. Okay. There is also um, this like exam, so it's kind of the qualification exam once you finish but that's mandatory only for the uh, like local students it, or respectively if you wish to work in uh, Poland as doctor you need to take also 30 months internship okay. and then like exam 13? But thir like, one three okay and if you decide not to if you want to go back to Norway Germany anywhere like you finish the education and you are ready to go Okay, okay. That's quite interesting, actually. Uh, and this brings me actually to one question that, uh, like, most of the countries in European Union are, like, offering the uh, courses for six years. Mm -hmm. uh, also, here, general medicine is six, but dentistry is five. So, is the mm -hmm. degree still valid to work in Europe? Yeah, definitely it's uh, valid. Uh, and, um, yes, the, the structure of the course can be different among the countries, but the, as it's Polish University and Poland is in the EU, uh, like you get the same recognition as any other university. All right. Uh, and um, walk us through a bit uh, maybe about uh, step by step how the admission process looks like. Okay, so the, the whole admission is uh, fully online. Okay. You submit documents, especially you need to submit your ac academic documents, but also with apostille. All right. Uh, if you don't make it before the uh, uh, the deadline, you can still take part in the admission process, but uh, they will give you some additional deadline. In case you are admitted, they okay. will give you additional deadline to submit the documents. Okay. And application fee is only 85 uh, zloty, which is maybe less than 20 US dollars. Okay. Maybe 18, 18 euros. Uh, so also English uh, proficiency certificate is like required. Like TOEFL, something like this. Exactly. Okay. Or you can just prove that you studied in English or you studied at, at high school where English is primary uh, So language. you studied in English medium completely. Uh, exactly. Uh, yes, yes, yes. All right. Actually, that's uh, quite useful. One of the primary questions that um, like, uh, most of our viewers have is uh, what about the admission procedure? So is it only an entrance exam or is it also like uh, considered on other basis as LORs? Like, so how is uh, your profile evaluated? Yeah. So in case you are from EU, OECD, EFTA or Switzerland, All right. uh, respectively you studied there at the high school. In that case, you can submit your high school results and documents. And uh, biology, uh, if you took biology at advanced level and one of chemistry, uh, mathematics or physics, uh, okay. then you can apply for the direct admission, so without entrance exam. All right. If your marks are uh, good enough, you will get some final number of points and then like you can get direct admission. That's actually great because without even giving an entrance exam, you can like get in just based on your high school marks. Yes, exactly. But if uh, one of those subjects are missing or you studied outside of this country mm -hmm. and countries, uh, then you need to do the entrance exam, which is oral exam from biology chemistry. And you will then get some number of points, and then based on okay. that, once everyone is finished, like there will be several ranking uh, lists, okay. and then uh, you will see like in which uh, list you find yourself, uh, and then basically they wait until everyone finishes, and then like they will give the final result. All right, whether you are understandable. Or not. And what about the procedure for transfer students in that case? So transfers are possible, however, like you need to be lucky that uh, the curricula at uh, your home university and at Silesia mm -hmm. are similar. Okay. Because it can happen that what they also look on is uh, how many hours uh, did you, for example, study, let's say, biology uh, at your university. It needs to match how many hours you study at SUM. Oh, really? Well, wow. so they they you do table and you compare here. I studied this many hours here. I say this many hours. I, I wish to come recognize this for this. So there is a lot okay. of paperwork to be done from your side. Also, you need to be active uh, students. Uh, like you cannot be excluded or interrupted student. Okay. You need to have status of student. 
usually they uh, transfer maybe to second year, exceptional to third year, because they recognize only uh, maximum three years old subjects. Okay, okay, okay. It's quite uh, unique. Yeah. Uh, like not impossible, just you will find those universities with better conditions. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, and uh, like, yeah, uh, definitely for uh, students, it's like uh, for transfer students, it's important to recognize the subjects. Otherwise, you end up like wasting years or taking like additional subjects. It becomes more harder to graduate. Uh, definitely. What about the fee structure of these uh, uh, programs, though? Like, yeah, so it's uh, for medicine, it's 12,700 uh, 12, for dentistry, 13, okay. and 12,000. Uh, if you want also study other programs, for example, pharmacy, it's almost 6,000 euros. Physiotherapy 6,400 euros. Uh, so just to put it in perspective, okay. uh, you can also go for this. Yeah, it's actually quite affordable uh, compared to like many countries because like uh, in European Union, uh, like most of uh, the fees lies from 10,000 to like uh, somewhat around like 30,000 euros uh, per year uh, for medical studies, and this is more on the affordable side. Uh, comparing it, uh, but um, most important. Thing, speaking from affordability perspective is uh, like um, living expenses, accommodation, these things. Is it uh, affordable or how expensive it is? Uh, like city, it's a uh, it's big city, so many options for the accommodation. Right. Uh, you can either find a private uh, accommodation as its student city and then share the apartment with other students. Just you need to make sure that the price, whether it's listed with energies or without, okay. but it's definitely cheaper than in Košice. Really? That we sit now. Well, yeah, yeah, we're uh, based out of Košice, uh, but the difference is we come under the Eurozone. But so. uh, it also depends, like, uh, because there is also option of private uh, dormitories. Okay. They uh, they uh, look like really like hotel, and maybe mm. those will cost you maybe four hundred euros per month. Mm. But if you go for the private uh, accommodation, it will be less than that. Okay. But uh, uh, like spending your time in a good hotel, having a peace of mind, why not? <laughs> I mean, it helps you, you know, even for your study and everything. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, and it's uh, super useful. Uh, some other information you would like to add as in student life over there? Well, there are also multiple universities and also there are many music uh, festivals, like also jazz uh, festivals. Nice. Also, it's one of the greenest um, uh, cities in the Europe, um, more than 40% of it's f covered by the forests or by parks, which is really interesting because the area itself, Katowice, it's, it's, it was famous by uh, mining, uh, coal uh, and uh, dirty industry, mm -hmm. but now it's like... <laughs> dirty industry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. But now it uh, transformed uh, rapidly. Uh, to to green energy and uh, nice. green environment. That's great. That's so great. it's 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 nice place to nice. be. But uh, like, are these degrees, for example, valid uh, not only in European Union, or is it also valid, for example, makes you eligible to apply for USMLE or even outside of Europe? Yeah. So there is even special pathway for USMLE. There okay. is even a contact person which you can. Uh, contact in case of uh, questions regarding this this pathway okay and as it was mentioned like you can still take this international uh, uh, program uh, right. uh, of medicine and then like you can go for the rotations abroad Ah, uh, okay mm, that's actually very interesting we will get like a holistic view of medicine in general in Europe so that's quite a good exposure so uh, hope this information is useful for you guys uh, as our viewers and uh, hope you guys like the video. Share it with someone who is planning to study medicine. If you yourself are planning to study medicine, do comment on our uh, the, on the comment section that what are the future cities, universities, or topics that you would like us to cover. We have also a sister channel called Study in Slovakia where we discuss about life, uh, accommodation, living expenses, study programs, and everything in Slovakia or Europe in general. And MedHead is more focused towards medicine. So this is your go-to destination. 
do contact Mr. Peter for any information you require, consultation you require, also like what are your possibilities, scopes. He will give you like a customized, uh, you know, like a consultation based on your, for example, affordability, based on like uh, the career goals that you are having, uh, the study tenure that you're looking for and everything in and out together. Subscribe to our channel for such content and thank you so much for watching again.